That's the best you're gonna get out of me. So, we'll take it. Hi, my name is Kendall Sheffield, and these are my essentials. Hi, my name is Kendall Sheffield. I'm 5'11", and I'm represented by Steve. I have way more than 10 items right here, um, but that's okay. Um, and then I also didn't include items that I feel like almost everybody needs without explanation, like a wallet or money or keys. Um, those, those are essential, but I don't think I added them to the list because I feel like everybody needs those, um, as well as I feel like there was just a few more things that were a little bit more important to me and showed who I am and why I am the way I am. So first off, let me start by saying, um, God, God is my first essential. So. I don't think I could do anything that I, that I accomplished in my life um, without God. I think that I, I need him with every step of my life. Um, I do need to be better at talking to him when things are going good rather than when things are going bad, just when things are going bad or when I want or need something. Um, I need to do a better job at, at being grateful and thanking him for the things that I do have. Um, but with that being said, he's still an essential part of my life. Next up is my support system. Um, so my support system is, I don't have anything here to, to signify them, but uh, my support system is my close friends and family that um, help me stay straight. Uh, and they're not just yes men or yes women. They let me know when I'm tripping out or I'm doing something wrong um, or that where I'm slacking it in areas. Um, so they, um, they push me to be better than what I even thought I could be. Um, so, you know, anytime I you know, I'm, I'm going through anything mentally, uh, emotionally, or things like that. I know I have people that I can call that um, have my best interest at heart. So, shout out to my support system. Love y'all. Y'all know who y'all are. The book. So, I definitely need to start reading more. But um, I picked up this book. Um, for quarantine purposes when we couldn't go anywhere. Um, and that just shows how much I haven't read since we started. I'm only this far into this book. Um, but I actually really do enjoy this book. It's One Perfect Summer by Brendan Novak. Um, I really enjoy reading it. I've read about four chapters now. Um, so I am gonna start trying to read a little bit more in my life um, as a, as a screenwriter or a filmmaker, reading stories um, that helps with my creative process and allows me other ways to know how to format things. Um, so I'm definitely going to start reading, reading more. Um, if you have any book suggestions, you can leave them in the comments. I'm also going to make a little uh, question box on Instagram, and you could comment on that and leave them. Leave them to me on Instagram. And my Instagram is gonna be like right up here in this area if you want to do that. Um, so yeah, look. My phone and a charger. 
Uh, the reason my phone is up here is because with all these business ventures that I'm trying to um, trying to start and trying to be a part of, I think it's essential that I have my phone with me um, so that I can stay in contact with all my point people and um, get in contact with studios or uh, music producers, uh, composers, directors, other actors, um, so I can stay in contact with people that I have on set with me, um, things like that. And then obviously gotta have a charger with me. Also, it's very important that I have my phone so that I could stay in contact with my support system. So um, that's, that's why it's important. To have. A notebook and a pencil. This is so that I can um, write notes down uh, if I see something that I may want to turn into a into a scene for a TV show or a movie, or um, if I'm in a meeting and I need to take notes, um, things like that. It's very important. I personally like writing my my scripts by hand first. I don't know, I can't give you a real reason why, it just feels like the right way for me and then I'll end up typing them on my computer. Um, so yeah. My computer, my laptop, my hard drive. These are essential to me, again with being a screenwriter. Um, I, I like, once I finish writing up my script, I'll type it up uh, and I have my hard drive here um, so that I have all my my uh, screenplays saved up here um, or any anything that I have there, my movies, TV shows, I have them all on here um, so that if I'm at home, I, I like working on my desktop computer um, but if I'm out, obviously I can't work on my desktop computer, so I have my laptop with me and my hard drive so that I can type up my scripts um, up there. The deck of cards. I have this deck of cards um, because I like, I like playing card games, I like playing board games, um, but this is something that you could always take with you. So I have a deck of cards with me, and it's not necessarily always a standard, standard deck of playing cards, but it could be uh, like Uno or Phase 10 that I'll take with me. Uh, this is also when we go on road trips with my semi-pro basketball team. Um, we can play, we have something to play uh, when we're in the hotel room or anything like that. So, yeah. My basketball shoes. These are currently my, one of the two pairs that I wear when we have our games in season. Um, these are crossover cultures. I cannot remember the exact uh, model, but these are crossover cultures. Um, and I really enjoy them. They're actually really comfortable. Um, and they, they have really good grip. Um, so I like playing in these. On these I have uh, things that I, I play for or uh, things like that that help me, help keep me motivated. So yeah, my basketball shoes. It's a lot of detail on those. A sweater or a hoodie or something a jacket I get cold very easily um, so I try to keep a jacket or a hoodie with me that that way if it's cold I could just throw it on and um, be warm this right here specifically is a OG hoodie um, which is a company founded by my OG my, my dad um, he found it. This this hoodie is so comfortable. It's it's thin, but it's so warm. Um, 
that it's, you know, it's not a lot of weight on you or anything like that, but, but you're gonna be warm in this. And that's why I like it. Um, I like the material it's made with. And it's super comfortable. I don't know if I said that already, but my OG hoodie. Snacks. I always keep some snacks with me um, or try to keep some snacks with me because I get hungry a lot. I like to eat um, and sometimes I may not be in the mood for a full meal, but I know I need something in my stomach. Maybe these aren't like the best things, but it's not always candy. It's sometimes uh, some peanuts, some trail mix, almonds, um, chips, something like that, uh, crackers, maybe a sandwich. Um, but snacks and gotta have something to drink. Um, it's not always Minute Maid, Cranberry, grape. Sometimes it's apple juice or lemonade or orange juice. Water, I need to start drinking water more. Um, let's see, Gatorade, Powerade, Body Armor. Those are all some things that I like to drink. Um, but yeah, snacks. wristband that I had for my aunt uh, Latoya Sissy Holmes. She suffered a brain aneurysm um, a few years ago. Um, I, I can't remember the exact date. I wish I could, but um, she suffered a brain aneurysm. So we, you know, she was basically bedridden and um, it was it, it hurt. There was times that I wouldn't be able to. I, I felt like I couldn't go in there and, and see her because it hurt a lot to see her that way. And um, and you know, I it, it's weird because I still felt bad that I wasn't able to go in there and see her at times. Um, it's something that I definitely had to to work a courage up to be able to go in there and see her um, when she was in the room and when I went home. But it, it, it hurt a lot. Um, and this was a wristband that we would get. Um, we, we had an annual walk for her um, every year since her brain aneurysm um, to, to raise awareness for brain aneurysms and, and to try to support her and all her needs. And, what have and it, it broke playing basketball um, when I was playing basketball one time and when it broke it didn't split her name um, or anything like that it split almost perfectly down the middle of where it says brain aneurysm awareness and in honor of Latoya Sissy Holmes and I just thought that was amazing where it's like nothing's gonna break you know what I'm saying and, and yeah She's with me always. Um, and unfortunately she passed away earlier this year um, due to COVID complications. And that was a completely different, uh, completely another emotion that I felt during that. Um, yeah, so I like to keep this with me. It's been in my room. I want to get it attached to my uh, my basketball bag so that I can always have it with me. And I need to get more so that I could wear it as a wristband or or whatever. We had tons um, back home. So next time I go home, I gotta make sure I grab me a few more of these. My film equipment, my camera or uh, my tripod, uh, I have a mini tripod that I keep with me most of the time, rather than my big tripod. Uh, my camera monitor, extra batteries, lenses, uh, uh, stay, like a steady cam type of thing. Uh, so I keep, try to keep these with me. Um, or they're just essential to me because as a filmmaker, I need a camera to make films and equipment to make film. 
So those are essential to me for obvious reasons. Yeah. Planner. Um, it, it helps me stay organized because if I did not have it, um, I don't know what I would do. I would be going crazy trying to figure out what and when I need to do certain things. So, planner. My hygiene bag is essential to me um, because I need to stay hot. So I got toothbrush, toothpaste, soap, deodorant, Listerine, extra pair of contacts, um, lotion, hand lotion, uh, another toothbrush, wipes, you need to have wipes with you, you need to comb and or a brush, um, depending on, or a pick, depending on how long my hair is at the time, tweezers, Fingernail clippers and tissues are all things that I keep in, in this bag. So I'll, I'll try to take this with me everywhere. Um, I'll just sometimes hang it out. It's hanging off my foot bag or or in my car at least. Um, but I'll, I'll keep this with me. Finally, we have music or our headphones. Keep my headphones with me as much as I can because you need them. Uh, music is very important. Music gets you through a lot of things. Um, I listen to all types of music. Uh, except for like that hard rock that that where they're just screaming and like heavy metal I think it's called I don't know but like heavy metal rock or like where they're just screaming in your ear and rah 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 no I don't I don't like that type of music um, but I'm open to listening to any type of music so if you wanna uh, like tag me in some music on um, Twitter, like send me a link to your, your own music or your friend's music or just some songs that you think I should listen to. Um, feel free to, to at me and send me some music. And again, my Twitter's gonna be right up here. I'm gonna put it up here. Um, so yeah, and the reason I have overhead headphones, I just like them better. When I was younger, earbuds would, um, would typically fall out of my ear a lot and very easily. So I always have preferred over the head headphones. So, yeah. That's it, everybody. My name is Kendall Sheffield, and those were my essentials. <laughs>